Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Princess and for today's video is going to be my update number two of the hashtag color pen uh, prompt by uh, Misty, Misty Pen. If you guys uh, wanted to know more about this project pen, I'm going to link everything down below. So basically, these are like a uh, main focus are the products from ColourPop. So if you guys don't know, ColourPop it is an indie brand that um, they sell a lot of cute uh, packaging makeup products. And I'm going to link down below their website and they are sold at Ulta too. And I think that's it for now. Um, if you guys are interested for this makeup I have on my face, I am going to write it down as much as possible the others the products to on the description box so let's go jump right into this um project pen so last month i did my um update number one and today it's been a month since uh i updated it and then uh for whole month i did not really use much of this products because I am like really focused on the new stuff I've got from the store <laughs> like DJ Maxx and Marshalls and sometimes I am just kind of lazy to uh, put makeup on so first let's go jump right into the um, eyeshadow palettes right here I do have the Dream Street uh, collaborated by Catlin Light I only used it twice for the whole month and basically i just use this one right here and then that one and then this one so three shades here um although it doesn't look like i did use it um i will try to put a little bit of like usage of this palette for example for this palette i am going to use it at least three to four times for the whole month at least i have a little bit of progress of it each month the next one i have the main squeeze so here they are so my main focus on this palette is the first one right here or the um which one is this big gulp but main one i did use the frisé which i used this whole main uh palette for two times also I am trying to pen either two of this because they are uh, from my Pandos eyeshadows and like I said the Frisé and then uh, Big Gulp not much of uh, progress right here so like I said I'm going to put some usage of this palette so the next uh, products are lip products I've got the um, Friends and basically this one it is really dark brown creamy uh creamy uh texture or finish so you guys don't really see it much but i did use this one three times and it doesn't look like i did use it at all so i am going to try to put a picture comparing and I'm just going to put it everything here on the uh, popped out here. And then the next product it is the Foolish. Most of this, I like to use the lip products because I am a, more of a lip product person. So here it is. Like I said, I am um, trying to uh, take off the star print there, but I did not because I only used this one two times for the whole month and I am kind of um I did a, I did buy a lot of lip products and still haven't used some of them but um I'm trying to uh incorporate some of the products especially that I do have a different project pens that I wanted to use too next I am going to uh go to the um what do you call this the super shock shadow which is catlin light and for this one i think most of the 
uh, makeup products I've got here. This is the most used. Mm, no, second to the most. So here it is. This is like kind of gold um, shade. I use this one to top it off whenever I use a uh, neutral shade like the uh, Dream Street. So it is much more easier to uh, just put this on the top of your eyelids like uh, matte uh, neutral shades and then this one which is uh, really nice to wear especially that I go out sometimes to do my other videos. The next thing we have in here is their super super. <laughs> the next thing we have in here is their super shock cheek. This is the uh this is a highlighter and in the shade of Hippo. I did use this one seven times and I do have this in my um face right now. And this is how it looks like. I did hit a pen in this one, although this kind of formula or texture they move a lot. So whenever I put it like this, it makes it like a dent in it. So we will try our best to do uh, a little bit more progress on the next update for this one. I am kind of uh, happy for this progress of it. Let's move on to the skincare products, which I do have two of them here. First is the um, the big detox from Fort Ray. This is their um, volcanic mud mask i didn't use this one unfortunately because um even though i did put it on my bathroom still i didn't use it because of i am like more tired especially at night when i put the kids in the bed i'm already like knocked out too so um of course i don't go to bed without cleaning up my face or brush my teeth but i don't have extra time to put this on because especially it, it says here you have to leave it for 5 to 20 minutes. I don't have that spare time sometimes, but I will try my best to make a little bit of progress of this one. Like I said, for this project pan, I wanted to, as much as possible, finish all of this um, products or heat pan of them on them. So the last product we have in here is the Fort Ray Chamomile Face Milk. Like I said, I use this one after my serum so that I have an extra hydrating face skin. So last time, the update number one, we have it here. So this time we have it here. And it is a lot of um, improvement compare it last time on the um intro so i am really happy for this uh progress of this um skincare product and really this one it helps my skin more of a little bit glowy and dewy and even though i used a little bit of powder it's still I feel like hydrated is really incorporated some of the skincare products that I use in the morning and at night. So far, I didn't get any irritation or rashes or uh, bumps whenever I use this one with the other products I have. And yeah, I am really happy for this uh, progress. So now, like I said, I am going to do a little bit of usage just on this one this time. So I have my pen here. I am going to put March to April, uh, number three, update number three. And then for the Dream Street, I am going to use it like at least three to five times uses. And then for the main squeeze for this one, because it is really red, I am into like more of the shade right here, like corally, um, peachy. So I'm going to put this one at least seven times uses because I have a lot of other stuff. Like for example, for my shop my stash, every month I use a lot of eyeshadow so that I can um, alternate them so this ones are really um, good to um, like accentuate the other 
eyeshadow palettes for example i need a uh, a neutral shade i can grab one of those and if i wanted to have like a, a shimmer bright red i can grab the main squeeze so for the foolish i am going to put this one five times uses and then if i use most of those five uses i can still put a like six seven eight it depends on my mood i guess and then for the friends because of this it's too dark shade it is spring now officially the first day of spring so i'm just gonna put this one three times of uses and then for the hippo um i like to see this one more so i am going to put this 10 times uses because i do have a different highlighter on the different um different products project pen I think I have one, two, three, three of uh, highlighters that I am trying to do a progress or a pan them. And then for the um, Catlin lights, I am going to use this at least five times uses. And then for the chamomile, um, I'm not going to put anything uses in here because among all of these products, I use this much more so we'll see if i can maybe right here or whatever um let's say 10 times and then lastly is this um mud mask i am going to put this one at least three times uses and see if i will try to beat that <laughs> usages and i think that's it for you guys for this update and see you on my next update which is the update number three of this project pen color pen and see you on my next video bye <laughs>